I went to the MTC at the end of August. I went to Phoenix at the beginning of September, which is like the end of summer. Um, so it was actually good because it was getting cooler, but it was still really hot. And so I remember I got on the I got on the plane. I fly. I flew out at like three in the morning or something like that. Um, and I got on the plane and I checked the temperature before. I got on the plane in Utah and it was something like 45 degrees or 43, 40 low. And then I got off the plane at like 115. And I was like, oh my gosh, and you're in a suit. And, um, but it was fun. And then um, it was President Taylor. President Taylor was my mission president through most of my mission. And then the very last transfer and a half-ish was, because uh, I went out in August, they switched mission presidents in July. Um, beginning of July. So the last transfer and a half was President Griffin, who's there now. And so President Taylor, what he did is he brought us um, to the mission home. And what did we do there? I'm trying to remember. We did like a bunch of kind of like mission stuff. Um, so he he didn't, I was really afraid that what he was going to do is he was going to have us like go tracking or something or go contacting on the street like our first two hours or something. And he didn't. And I'm really grateful for that because I think that would have been really overbearing for me um, or just really oppressive. Uh, but instead we went to the mission home and we like wrote a letter to ourselves or something. Or, no, no, no. We wrote a letter to our parents, I think, to say like, we're alive. And then um, we signed the mission flag and did just a bunch of like uh, onboarding type things. Got certified to drive. Um, and then... The next morning we woke up and did our morning exercise, came back, got ready and went to the transfer meeting. And how they did transfers there is they, everyone just meets in a big church building. Um, well, everyone who's switching companions meets in a big church building, the rest of the mission just kind of goes on their merry way. And then uh, if you're switching companions or, or he just, he just starts calling out the areas and the companion changes, who's staying um, and and who's uh, moving there and everyone kind of switches around and then when it's all done, we all disperse. And then, uh, of course, at the transfer meeting, if you're a new missionary, you meet your trainer. And my trainer was Elder Marble, who's also here at, uh, at BYU, Andy Marble. And he's studying mechanical engineering. And he was, he was great. He's just like super quiet and underspoken, just really, um, or understated. He's just really, really humble and understated is his, just the way that he is, <laughs> um, which was perfect. Uh, Cause I, I, I didn't realize it at the time, but I was like super freaked out. <laughs> I was really, really anxious and um, just really anxious. Uh, dealt with a lot of anxiety stuff that I thought was just me being normal. But then looking back, I was like, wow, I was, I was messed up, <laughs> but it was good. Um, so we met Elder Marvel and he introduced me at the transfer meeting. Then we went to my first area, which was Surprise. Um, Surprise first and second wards. Uh, Surprise is like a suburb of, of Phoenix. So the Phoenix area is like, you have Phoenix and Mesa and Scottsdale and Gilbert and Tempe. And those are all the big cities. And then in between, you, it just doesn't stop. There's just it's just this urban sprawl for miles and miles and miles and miles because it's really easy to build. Everything's flat. You don't really need to have a strong foundation because there's no earthquakes or natural disasters or anything. Um, so you can just build. And uh, so, so you have Phoenix and it has technical borders, but there's not a gap between Phoenix and the next city. And so eventually you get to Surprise, which is this little city. And it was, Surprise is fun. It's like this little... Uh, it's just new, a lot of new growth there, a lot of young families. Uh, and Arizona also has a really strong presence of the church uh, there, especially in the valley. I was on bike, um, the first area. And my first area, so it was like, I guess, three square miles. And they do kind of a grid system down there too, so it was literally square miles, um, shaped in an L. And uh, we're on bikes, so we visit some people, talk to people on the street. I remember I contacted somebody who's wearing a gun because you can do that in Arizona. <laughs> and so, and it was late at night, so I was, uh, I didn't see the gun until I drove or until I rode up. But uh, it was kind of the kind of elder I was like, hey, you should contact this next guy. I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I did and talked with him and. Uh, Afterwards, he, Elder Marble was like, oh, that's so great, and you did wonderful, and um, just, 
I, I like I feel like that's really cliche and yet it was great like that was it's cliche because it was great you you have your trainer ask you to contact the first guy you contact him you're really worried he talks to you about it afterwards and it's just it was just really fun and then we rode home and contact a bunch of people on the way